Mohamed Shirari lies in hospital. He was shot several times outside his house. He tried to run, but his legs gave way. Another attack on a Somali journalist in the capital, Mogadishu. Before the attack, they were threatening text messages that I will be killed. But I didn't worry too much about them. Shortly after he gave this interview, Mohammed died, the 17th journalist to be killed this year. And two days later, another media professional was gunned down, taking the total for the year to 18, making Somalia one of the most dangerous places in the world to be a journalist. Mohammed's family don't know who carried out the attack. The wave of killings have been blamed on the Islamic militants al-Shabaab, who used to rule over Mogadishu and still control vast swathes of Somalia, but they deny it. Other murders are also believed to be linked to struggles within the multiple factions in power. A new government was sworn in, but after two decades of civil war, Somalia is still deeply divided. The Shabele media network has been particularly badly targeted. Many journalists who work for the station have been killed this year. Mogadishu's security situation is getting better, but this year when al-Shabaab was dislodged from Mogadishu and its suburbs, killing and violence against journalists have dramatically increased. 2012 is the deadliest and most violent for journalists operating in Mogadishu and other Somali regions. The assassinations have forced numerous journalists to flee the country, particularly as according to the Somali Union of Journalists, no one has been charged with any of the murders. It is high time for the local authorities to um, catch people to stop this uh, vicious circle of impunity because uh, unfortunately you can understand that the series of killings uh, continue if, uh, if uh, nobody is threatened uh, after they commit a crime. In the war-ravaged streets of Mogadishu, there seems little end in sight to the waves of killings. But many journalists say they won't stop and will continue to risk everything, including their lives, to tell Somalia's story to the world.